hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl valenosa again if you're seeing me for the first time you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for the support so far before we continue just ensure to subscribe to my mailing list ensure that you are um subscribed to my telegram community of aspiring and current international students yes so if you're seeing this video it, it means that like you already know what this video is about um but if you are subscribed to my mailing list i already told you guys like i gave you the secret before now that's why i tell people to always ensure that they are subscribed to my mailing list so that you know they never miss out on anything and they are the first to actually hear the gist when it comes so um i said in that newsletter that i got a second job and that's the truth and that's what this video is about um i know i'm filming this video pretty late this is august but i got the, um, the job sometime in july and um, i'm just going to use this video to explain how i got the job and everything in between so if you have any questions about job hunting you know i have a series on my channel talking about how you can like my job hunting experience and everything i've been making that series so just watch you know search through my channel for that playlist and you can just follow up on my journey or my story as it were so um i know that sometime in was it april or may or something i uploaded a video where i revealed that i had gotten my first job here um that job was me being the, a fraud investigator i'm saying was because i mean if you are in my mailing list you already know what's happening um so but after i got that job i was still you know like actively applying um reason being that it's a contract position and for contract positions it means that i think i should even make a different video to just explain to you guys what you know that contract position is how it is how it works and especially being tied to an international student but yeah um the only thing that you should just take out from this part of the video is that contract positions are temporary they're not permanent positions that means anytime they can just fire you and you're gone right uh, and so having that at the back of my mind i felt like okay yeah this is you know i mean it's a job it's i have something doing but i was still actively job hunting i was applying i was you know doing all of that um reaching out to job um, recruiters and everything but i didn't get this second job from reaching out to recruiters and all i um if you are an og on this channel you already know that i'm big on like networking expanding your reach your network everything i see that a lot like and and i know that sometimes when um aspiring international students get here they just abandon like they burn the bridges and i'm like that's very unsmart <laughs> because you need everybody to help you you need people you need as many people as possible more than like when you're already a, a, an international student versus when you are just trying to get in because getting in is one thing when you're in is another thing entirely but we'll get to that in a different video so how did i get this job um so i don't know how myself how we connected but i can't remember what happened i don't know if i made a post or he made a post and i commented or something but i think i might need to check through our like chat history and all that but i just know that we started talking and for some reason when i asked for my number and i was like can i reach reach out to you is it okay and then i requested for his number and then he gave it to me and i called or he he requested for me i can't remember but i know that that happened and we spoke on the phone and the first day we had a conversation on the phone it was just like an honest conversation like he was more in, interested in knowing you know things about me not necessarily job hunting yeah are you an international student what are you doing you know you just graduated all of that was like less than three minutes everything else was more than 30 minutes and that was you know me talking about myself who i am what i've done in the past where i'm from i think yeah i remember that he said that my name seemed more ghanaian than nigerian i think he was like it was my name that really was like who's this girl you know who's this girl <laughs> and i'm talking about linkedin guys i'm talking about linkedin so and then my profile on linkedin is very like i have this profile picture that i have tons of photos so it wasn't hard for me to like have professional photos that i was using on my linkedin 
um, because I had I have a ton of those. I mean, you guys already know that I am a model and I am a model instructor. I'm a model coach and all of that. So I have tons of photos. So I use one photo like that. Just I think I'll add it somewhere, Sha. But the thing was, it was like saying my name was just I don't know. My name just was just there. I'm like, okay, thank God. But we got talking. I just I was just talking about my background, what I've done in the past and everything. And I think the things I said were the things that like got him interested in getting to know me better because if i remember correctly in his words he was like people like you are people that should be whether supported or encouraged because when people like you are encouraged they're not just encouraging you as an individual they're encouraging like let me say a community of people because you are passionate about helping others as well so he could see that in our first conversation like i'm like why are you saying that and then he's like yeah that that's his person whenever he gets to meet people you just you know try to get to know them on a different like on a different level i don't want to know if you're a student if you're a, um, a professional i just want to know you what makes you you do you understand and so that's why he didn't even let me know that he was already doing that when we were talking and then he's just you know i didn't know that i was even on the hot seat but that's how our like little um you know network started and he kept calling i kept calling i kept keeping in touch not like all over the place but i mean i was trying that out and fast forward because I'm trying to make this video very brief. I'm hungry and I'm tired. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but I'm just thankful because I remember um, I was even at some point I was not telling him like, please, um, I'm job hunting. You know, there was a point. There's always that point where you get to and then you're like, everything was just like blank. Like, oh my, I didn't, I didn't have any, I didn't have any clue what was going to happen the next day i just know that which rarely happens to me because i'm this person that I have like i have tons of alternatives like you know if this does not work then i'm also thinking so if i have an idea i'm like i have five ideas if that makes sense so but you know this job hunting thing in the u.s is crazy because um I, you think you're very strong now i think i can talk about it like this because I've been through that phase. I'm, you know, I just want to thank God in a way. No, not even in a way. I just want to thank God that those days are not like I've moved away. I just want to believe God. I've moved away finally. Amen. You know, but during that time, like it was, it was crazy. I'm not going to lie. It was very crazy for me because I had so much going on. I was dealing with so many things. And it's not everything I'm going to come here and start telling you people, you know, left, right, and center. But I was uploading videos though. I was active. Like I was I was taking on my clients, like responding and all of that. And even going live. I think I went live maybe once. But there was this time that it was really very bad. Let's just use the word bad. And then I'm like, uh, oh God, I beg, I need job. I define job. You know, I need your help, you know, and then he's like, okay, the, the jobs that they have are high end positions and I'm looking for like entry level to, you know, like mid level positions. And so he's like, that's where the problem is because they have like high end, more of the high end positions versus the entry level positions. So I'm like, oh, but you know, <laughs> you know that portion of the bible where they say that um, um i will never let you go unless you bless me kind of thing so i'm like ah you tell me that i've heard you but once in a while i'll just chip it in in our conversation you know and that that kept happening um so i was on my own so he tried to do like pull a, a couple of strings here and there spoke to some persons on my behalf you know i was also applying he would tell me apply here i would apply so guys ignore what happened my camera went dead yes no thanks to my battery but yeah so when i reached out to him i was telling him okay well, what's gonna happen how far what's what's this you know um and then he's like okay he was sometimes to send me some positions he would ask me to apply i'll go ahead and apply and you know so that was just happening and i was just like 
I'm doing my part just continue to do your part okay so I remember I just moved on like we didn't speak for a while but you know once in a while we chat here and there um, but then I just we just I just moved on and then one day he called me I was like what's going on what's happening we spoke and I told him what was happening at the time and then he's like okay um, you know um, that there's this position he told me about the position and then he also told me about like if I was interested, I'm like, is that a question? Like, is that really an actual question? I'm like, I'm interested though. And, you know, so he said, okay, if I'm interested, then he's going to speak with someone, his partner. And, you know, they would, you know, interview me, of course, because, I mean, it's not just going to come and dash me one job. So they set up um, the Zoom interview. And I think, was it the next day? Yeah, it was the next day around 3 p.m. ish. So they set it up. And the next day, your girl was ready. You know, baby girl was prepared. <laughs> so um, his partner and himself were there we spoke they did the interview he didn't do a lot of the talking it was more of the the partner that did all of the talking and um so i i mean i i had to sell myself the best way that i know how and finally they said they were going to get me on board and they got me on boarded um let's say they gave me a start date so my start date was july 5th because July 4th and I know either July 3rd or July 5th whichever I beg I'll check my offer letter and then I'll add it somewhere um, so that happened and um, after that um, time yeah so there was this July 4th celebration and I started the week after july 4th i mean that week of july because july 4th was on sunday but on on the 5th they celebrated it i was supposed to start on the 5th but the 5th was now like a monday which was also a public holiday because july 4th was on a sunday so um if you're following me on instagram you already know that also like that day i went live i was even filming and everything like the fireworks and all so by the tuesday i started so that that's the timeline of everything and you know so far it's been good i really appreciate it but it is a part-time position so i wanted to mention that so because sometimes people will be like oh as an international student like can you take on more than one job so yeah you can actually take on more than one job and you're fine provided you have the energy the strength to do it how i was able to do it guys that is going to be a different video because <laughs> it was hard it's been hard but i've been putting in the work because i mean you have to be determined you have to be focused you have to know what you want and you have to give in your all so imagine doing all of that and then like a part-time job so um, i work 24 hours for that job and this my other job like the fraud investigator position i work 40 hours sometimes i work over time so 40 so i work um 60 65 plus hours every week so that means my job starts 7 a.m. and I close sometimes 8, 9 p.m. So just imagine without YouTube and at the same time I was doing YouTube and everything. So it was crazy. And most times people would be like, they are sending me messages. They are expecting me to be chatting. Hey, hi with them. I'm like, what are you talking about? So guys, that's how I started working with them as a technology resource analyst, TRA. Um, so I was, I'm doing the TRA position and the fraud investigation position as well. Um, so together. So that's it. I just want to be like, I just want to put it out there that, you know, you never know who's going to help you. You never know where one door would open. That's why it's good that you don't like shut any door or burn any bridges. Just try as much as possible to be the best person that you can. I know there are some relationships that you might not, you know, um, pull through or might not work you don't have to force it but when other relationships are working in terms of like networking and expanding your reach put in the work not like bombard them with messages or calls here and there but at least you know weekly or bi-weekly or even monthly should be fine just to show that you genuinely care about the person versus just it being about your needs all the time so don't make it about your needs so that's my little advice here i know in the next video i'm going to reveal something that i've been cooking 
up guys there's something coming your way so i don't want to give out all the tips here and there but yeah this video was just centered on how i got the job and to let you people know that i got a second job as a technology resource analyst so yeah your girl yeah so help me thank god i'm so grateful i'm so happy i'm so excited i mean like i'm still hoping for greater things to come but i am very very I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'm also very great, grateful for the opportunity that my network gave to me like I, I don't take it for, for granted ever I am always like you know eager to learn and you know because I feel like I have so much to prove if that makes sense you know it's different when you get into a place and nobody knows you just get in but when you, you get into a place maybe somebody knows you and all of you have a lot to prove and as an individual I'm always trying to prove so much to me to my family to everybody that knows me so yeah so yes guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something even if you didn't learn anything at least share you know that you know valin has a second job and you can be happy for me you thank me be, be happy for me and thank god for me because you know when you're happy for people such things will happen to you and if you're an aspiring international student this is also very helpful because you know just be praying and connecting and receiving and be joyous for other people so that when you get here things will just be smooth for you and don't you know don't ever burn your bridges you know if somebody's helping you before you got here and then you get here and then you're like you are all of us were not in the abroad it doesn't work that way it's not like nigeria where mm -hmm, you need people here you need god most especially but you need people as well so yes guys this brings me to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my um mailing list so that you can hear my gist even before they hit here and you can hear other things that i don't even share here at all so ensure that you join the mailing list the link is in my description down below watch my other um job hunting series video playlist as well is in my channel also join my telegram community if you haven't already and please feel free to book a consultation if you need one any of my services two of our websites are up right now past my visa interview is up and the same network is up so just go to your google search www.passmyvisainterview.com or www.thesamenetwork.com and you see all of our services and you can just click on any one you want and order for it okay so um the links as well are in the description down below and you'll be fine so guys thank you so much for the support so far i'm so grateful and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys so i just realized that i ended that video without doing my you know my signature outro so yeah on that note this is the end of this video and until we see you again in my next video i remain valid also and i pledge to never give up and i hope that you do same bye guys copyright copyright <laughs> copyright is warning me